Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and just yesterday Apple held their Back to the Mac event and as you will have known if you follow me on Twitter and on YouTube you uh, will have seen my Ustream coverage. Now that video is an hour and a half long because I was just uh, commenting on the announcements as they happened. But I wanted to bring to you today uh, probably about three videos just covering off uh, some of the new things that Apple announced. Now this first video I'm just going to be telling you about the new iLife 11 that was announced and also they gave us a sneak peek at the next version of Mac OS 10, which they've called Lion. Now iLife 11, probably the best place for you to visit to get the uh, full details is Apple's website and you can see me viewing this at the moment. This is the new iLife 11 with new versions of iPhoto, iMovie and GarageBand. Now first of all, iPhoto 11 gives us a lot, lot of new features. If I just delve into those now, uh, we've got a really nice new full screen mode uh, where you can actually uh, edit and browse your photos in full screen. Absolutely fantastic. A lot of social uh, integration as well with things like Facebook. So you can actually view your Facebook photos within iPhoto even if they didn't originate from there. And you can also see if people actually comment on your photos within the iPhoto application. Emailing has been enha enhanced as well so you can actually um, uh, select a uh, selection of photos and then they will be pulled into an email with a really nice layout. This is what an email could look like uh, if you're using the new iPhoto 11. This is fantastic uh, for sending galleries of photos to friends and relatives or even for business use as well. There's also new slideshows with new themes. They look really nice during the demonstration. And also, creating books. There's a new full page book layout, and it's a lot more intelligent as well. It actually uh, pulls in photos and places them in the book uh, with more intelligent placement than it did before. So, a, a real host of new features just in iPhoto alone. Moving on, iMovie got a big upgrade. I'm hoping to bring you a video uh, showing you iMovie 11 in action later on today because I'm really interested in some of the new features. The biggest new feature that was announced for iMovie 11, I think, was movie trailers. And this allows you to create a really professional looking trailer for your movie uh, with just drag and drop ease. So they've done a real great job of this new feature. There's also new audio editing so you can actually uh, create fade-ins and uh, alter audio levels within iMovie and there's also one step effects you can set up instant replays of action shots and freeze frames. There's also a people finder as well so face recognition technology has been introduced to iMovie and last but not least there's sports and news themes uh, these two new themes allow you to create some really professional looking movies within what is really a consumer level product. Last but not least there's GarageBand and this was probably the least uh, interesting for myself personally but I know a lot of people use GarageBand and this has also received an upgrade. There's new flex time which allows you to keep your songs in rhythm. There's groove matching which um, allows you to match the rhythm of your whole track. There's new guitar amps and stomp box effects. And last but not least, there's a how did I play feature, uh, which allows you to learn to actually play an instrument and it rates how you're doing as you're working through the tutorial. There's also new lessons for piano and guitar. Again, this is a little bit of a money spinner for Apple in my opinion, but great if you want to actually learn a new instrument. Now, the iLife Suite also includes iDVD and iWeb. It doesn't seem like those two applications got an update, but once I get my hands on the product, which again, I'm hoping that will arrive with me today, I'll bring you an update as to whether they actually had any changes to them. Now the big, big news is that iLife 11 is just 45 pounds. You get it free if you buy a new Mac, but if you've got an existing Mac and you want to upgrade to the new version, then it's going to cost you £45. That is fantastic value for money. Now moving on, the last piece I want to cover in this first video for you today is the new Mac OS X Lion. This is due for summer 2011 
and introduce some real wow factors. Uh, the first thing is the Mac App Store. Now we've all been used to the App Store on things like the iPhone and the iPod Touch. Well now they're introducing a Mac App Store so you're going to be able to download desktop apps to your Mac using a really nice user interface. One click downloads and installs like you do on your iPhone or iPod Touch and also updates as well so if some developer updates the app you'll be notified that there's an update available. There's also Launchpad now I wasn't convinced about Launchpad uh, this is going to bring sort of like a multi-touch uh, and multi-gesture user interface for launching and managing your apps. You can drag them around on your screen and reposition them and launch them from within Launchpad. Uh, for me, it just looks like a revamp of uh, the Stacks feature that already exists in Snow Leopard and they've just rejigged it to give you more of a feel as though you're working on an iOS device. There's also full screen apps. Now I covered this a little bit with iPhoto but a lot of apps now will be launching and working in full screen and you can stay within full screen for your whole experience of the app and then swipe and use multi-touch gestures to move between apps. And then there's also Mission Control. Again, wasn't too convinced with this. This is uh, more of a revamp of the current expose that's in Snow Leopard but this gives you a, a nice sort of thumbnail overview of what's going on on your Mac and allows you to move easily between applications and windows. So as I say Mac uh, OS X Lion is due for release in the summer of 2011. The Mac App Store, uh, which I'm very excited, probably the best feature that was announced uh, yesterday, is actually due within the next 90 days. So November app, uh, app developers can start uh, submitting applications to the new Mac App Store and it's going to be available for users on Snow Leopard uh, probably round about mid to late January 2011 so very very interested in seeing how the Mac App Store works well that's it for this video there's going to be another video on the channel next which is going to cover the new uh, hardware announcements that Apple made yesterday thank you very much for listening if you want to get my regular updates please do follow me on Twitter by following at Geekanoids and of course, if you like my videos, please do subscribe to the Geekanoids channel.